Hey guys, today we're going to start the old 5 ton up. Uh, the snow is starting to melt and want to start it up and warm it up. It's probably been about, I don't know, 4 months since it's been started last. and kind of go through and show you how to start it and see if she'll start. So, do is turn on the master disconnect that I added to the batteries. That prevents battery drain over time and that powers up my EGT and boost gauge. And then this is the factory master disconnect for the batteries. So I'm going to turn that on. That turns the rest of the factory gauges on. And then turn the ignition on. And I waited for the ABS light there to cycle, test, and then shut off. And got the uh, fuel pump shut off all the way in. Going to pull some throttle. About quarter throttle. And we'll see if she starts. I was asking how I'm out of the train horns. So I came off the trailer emergency line here and that feeds the train horns, which are just mounted to the toolbox on the side. Actually, it works pretty well. Anybody on the side of the road or passenger side gets blasted. The emergency charge for the uh, trailer brakes. This is how you charge your brakes. And normally you would push this and it would stick in because the chamber on the trailer would start filling. But this is the train horns and you can hear them. So I'll lay on them here for a second. Well, that's pretty cool. And another way you could do it is with the trolley brake. But I think. When you hit the air brakes, the main pedal, that would actuate it in addition to this. So I don't think that works. That's why I had to plumb it into the charging brake system for the trailers. So it seems to work all right. You can fill up your own tires using a semi. I mean, this is a military five ton, but all you do is get a simple whip of air hose and you can hook it up into your emergency uh, disconnect here. Turn your valve on and then hook up your air hose and just have an air chuck you can run air tools whatever bump your engine idle up that way it's always constantly making air and then uh, you got 120 psi of air at a pretty good flow rate